Alright boys, one more thing before we leave. Who's your favourite YouTuber? Lambo! Signing a prime bottle. We have a game tonight. Guilty as charged. Signing a prime bottle. Sign this one too. Prime. <laughs> Welcome back to another game day vlog, everyone. First of all, thank you personally for getting the Lambros to 500 subscribers. It has been a goal of ours for so long to hit 500 subs and we've finally done it. So thank you for that, really do appreciate it. Today we're versing St. Paul's. So they are fourth on the ladder, they're five and two, but the Dingley Dingoes are six and one. We're on top. So it is going to be a massive game. As you can hear outside, it's a little bit drizzly, but I think we can get past that. Last night, Steph cooked me up an absolute feast. Now let's roll to that. Pre-game feed is ready to go. We have got some eye fillet steaks once again, and a load of carbohydrates, sweet potato, rice, and a bit of salad to top it. This should give Locke adequate glycogen stores, and he should be running on top of the ground tomorrow. If he's not, I'll be very disappointed, but I'm expecting a big game. After we had that feast, unfortunately, Carlton got rolled by Melbourne. It wasn't our best performance. I don't know what is going on down at the club, but those boys seriously need to learn how to kick shots on goals. I slept all right last night, did a bit of meditation with Steph this morning, and he cooked me up a massive feed again. It was unreal. Steph, show him that feed, mate. Pre-game feed is all ready to go. We have five eggs here. We're gonna smash some salt. Salt's really important to avoid the cramps. Peanut butter, banana, apple, and some orange juice. Should be good to fuel us up. We'll see you on the other side. Okay guys, we are cooking lunch. It is only like 8.30 right now, but I take chicken and rice to watch the under 19s and I eat at 10.30. So if you play a later game, chicken and rice, couldn't recommend it higher enough. I'll show you what we have to offer. Look at this. So we're cooking the chicken. It's still very raw. That's okay though. Rice, cheese, and what else other than Maisie Peters? She absolutely slaps it. We have arrived at the ground. It is 9.30 and I'm here to watch the under 19s go round. This is what we are dealing with today. Doesn't look the greatest, but that's all right. Huge game for us today. So it's second versus third on the ladder against Bina. Got to raise the boys up today. I'll tell you what, I'm going to give them an absolute rocket before the game. And they're going to be that dialed in. And if they're not, it's going to be trouble. Let's go the other way. What the fuck are you Rich doing? Get in, bums up. Come on, Tush. Big game from you today, mate. Reeves on a small dick. Yeah, Josh. If you guys are wondering what the under-19s listen to, round two, let's see what we have. Last week was dirty, so this week. Get it, spin! 
And today, boys, we own the moment. We go out there and we do what we've been training every single week, boys, and we own this moment. Every single one of you is gonna go out there, beat your man today, and we're gonna have a ripper day out there, boys. Let's go, come on. <laughs> Kill, kill, kill. Good dance, man. Good dance. Hayden, get it in, get it in. I've just walked home to this. What are you what are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? Why are you out why are you out the front, Snow Bear? You guys already know what time it is. We are prepping before the game and what else other than Fruity socks. Oh, we've got the rubber duckies on today. That is. Love that. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, you already know what time it is. Pre game preparation. A banana two hours before the game. An absolute essential. Then the most important ingredient of the day, the bee juice. The sweeter, the better. We need to get that honey in 20 minutes before the game. The final ingredient of the day, not really an ingredient, but it's a diary. They're up there. I need to push to every contest. It's gonna be pretty wet today, I think, so I need to work hard. And I know I need to stick my head over the footy. Let's go. So before every game, Kama and I come in here, do our gospel studies. We uh, share our goals. So I'm gonna show you guys Kama's goals today. Eight tackles, including two run down from behind. Defensive work rate equal to my offensive work rate. And driving my legs out of the, and bursting out of the stoppage at least five times. Uh, that's five been, times. It's been good this year, so I wanna challenge myself for five times today. Beautiful, mate. Let's see the youngest player on the side. Yep. Mate, how are you feeling today? Um, feeling alright, feeling a bit nervous as usual, but hopefully you get a touch, so... Hey, can you tell the fans why you wear the helmet? Yeah. Uh, few concussions. Couple concussions? Yeah, growing up, and then mum, mum said you gotta wear it, so... Yeah. Can't oh, complain, yeah. can't, can't say no to that, so fair enough. Yeah, mate, I was looking at you at training, and you're looking pretty large at the moment, mate. Oh, I... On the Land Bros program. I am on the Land Bros program, the boys got me right, I mean, hitting... I've been doing three out of the four sessions a week as, as per Lucky Lamble, the advice, so yeah, it should be good. All right, thanks, Lexi. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Lock. Hey, go, Tingo! Go, Tingo! Go, the Tingo! Go, the Tingo! Who's playing well today? Three, two, one, Lambo! Welcome once again everybody, my name's Lockie and I'm playing on the wing today. I've got the ball now and I'm running with the footy. So familiar scenes of me just dashing with the ball here and I'm just running like look at me now just pushing. I knew my work rate had to be good today so I'm just working over. Don't know what happened with that little glitch there but <laughs> first in for the ball here <clears throat> and got a little handball out which is unreal. So if you are playing on the wing or really any position for that matter. Just keep working to the contest. That was actually one of the goals coming into the game. Get to every contest. So I wanted to just like literally run and just cause a ruckus really. So I was super happy with that. Um, I had a couple of people asking me uh, some advice about playing on the wing. So definitely I'm not playing NFL. So I'm not trying to claim that, you know, I'm an amazing footballer. But some tips to play on the wing is try to slide back really, really hard. So work back hard. We'll just quickly go and shake that tackle, beautiful, and then kick it, lovely. But yeah, quickly, um, you know, get back, just work hard all day and try to hold the defensive part of the stoppage. So they're pretty much the three things. So work back, work extremely hard to every contest in the ground and sit behind the ball and make sure you hold your width and your side of the ground as well. But every team will be a little bit different with their wing roles, which is cool. 
This one here, he just wrapped me up. I'm on the ground like, bro, I was literally head in the turf in front of like the fans. The fans are just under the camera here. Just like, oh yeah, this sucks. But that was all right. Got a handball, missed that target, but no worries. 11 to 29 in the first quarter. Like we are actually getting pummeled right now. They're up by three goals and it felt like it was pretty even, but we're struggling. St. Paul's are actually doing pretty well. And we went into the game favorites, like not massive favorites, but slight favorites. And they're doing super well right now. So we know we need to pull our heads in. So I've got the ball here and watch me just dance around this guy. Yes. I knew I knew I was quicker than, than these boys. So I knew I just had to keep going. And that kind of actually brings me to my next point. It segues really nicely into the statement that you need to work on your strengths. A lot of people say work on your weaknesses and I think there is definitely an argument for that. I think you do need to work on your weaknesses. Let's say if you're weak overhead, do a lot of stuff, like do a lot of marking practice. But if you're really good at something, like if you're really good around goals, just practice that so much and become like elite at it. Especially if you're under the age of 18, like become freakish at one thing, whether that be kicking, speed, marking if you're a bigger player and become so good at it that recruiters are like, oh my God, like we actually kind of need this asset in our team. He's actually freakish. So for me, it's kind of my speed. Like I work on that all the time. And obviously I've been working on my strength a little bit as well. I just shook that tackle then, but yeah, just working on those little things like that. It will be super, super duper helpful in your future. I can't believe I just said super duper. That was so, so bad of me. <laughs> I've been having a couple of super duper of those icy poles lately, but and this was the set shot I had. Oh man, I was really upset about this actually. I've been working on my set shots. And if you follow our TikTok, you probably know that you know, I do a lot of stuff around goals because I do make a big effort to try to kick at least one goal every week. And this one here, man, like I went back on my routine and I think I leant back on it. It was pretty far out. Like I did kick it from outside 50, but I know I can kick 55. I just shanked it really. Um, but yeah, like I have nothing else to say about that. If you want to comment on my goal kicking routine, feel free to um, chuck a comment in. Let me know what you think I could do better because that would be super, super helpful for me. I have been trying to improve it and it has improved, but obviously it's still not perfect. All right, he got the ball here and got a little handball out. As you can see, we're up and this is the halftime crowd. <laughs> that halftime crowd was absolutely popping off. That little kid at the end there, he, he made me giggle. It was so funny, but <laughs> no, it's all it's all really good and well. The supporters down at the ground, like they had my back so much, which was just like elite. It is amazing when the fans are getting around you. Like I couldn't speak highly enough of them. But this is me again running around. Got the handball receive here. And I could have taken a bounce. That was really poor disposal, actually. Like, that was so poor. I had to come off the side of my boot. Got to get better at that disposal. And this was the play of the day, guys. Just enjoy this. How good is that by the supporters? Lambo's on fire chair. Like at this point in the game, I was beyond razzed up. Like when you've got like 30 blokes just going off their absolute chops, probably 20 beers deep, some of those blokes. Like it was such a good feeling and I love every one of you guys for that. So thank you. Um, yeah, it was incredible. It really was an incredible atmosphere. Like I've played in front of some reasonably big crowds in the past in a couple of big grand finals. I got around that bloke there, took a bounce and went long. But my God, this atmosphere 
by those boys was actually incredible. Like when everyone's chanting you, it just gives you an absolute second win. So that was literally an incredible moment in my footy career. But as you can see here, I'm actually, you know, having a pretty good impact in this third quarter. Like I'm actually running with the footy again, which is great. And I'm just working super hard. This one here, I probably should have pressed that guy a little bit harder. That's why I put this footy gene here. If you are <clears throat> coming towards someone, don't corral them. Like, it's actually the most frustrating thing as a coach or another team member. Like, just go out, go and take someone out. Even if they step you, like, just go, just try to go take them. Now, look at this. I'm looking inside and just bang, just pull the trigger. And that was really good. So, for you guys baking me in the comments about my disposal, thank you. <laughs> no, I actually didn't use it that well during the game, to be honest. But some times like that it was really really good i did turn it over probably four or five times during the game though i think this is actually a turnover here to be honest so went long there yeah i actually went for goals there like honestly i don't, I don't know what i was doing i was in between goals and not goals but i was always too far out so it was just it was literally just stupid what i, what I went for um <clears throat> but we're getting towards the end of the third quarter here and i've had a pretty big impact actually i reckon i've had about 10 touches this quarter and I'm just working my way into the game of footy. Got the ball here. I got the skipper screaming at me on the left. So you can't not give it to the skipper. And we're up 60 to 43. So we're up by 17 points. Take the turns right now, all right? This is the one. This is the season right here. We spoke about this, what this means, all right? Our only crack for the year for the next six or seven weeks at a top contender with our full strength side. Well, where are we at? Are those five weeks extra we've had? Are they the legs we have? Are they what we have over them? Because they're walking off the ground saying we're blowing up. We're done. Well, I fucking know. Bring them inside. I fucking know. We've got that extra thing going on. Bit of inspiration there from Horsley. He absolutely loves it. And going into the last quarter, they changed the balls. The ball is yellow now. I got a cheeky kick there on the left foot. So we absolutely love that. Getting a touch nice and early in the quarter. Just kind of gets things rolling a little bit. And I'm feeling pretty dialed. Like, something just flicked in me, man. Like, I knew I was on. I got the ball here again. Terrible kick, but I chased it up. And then I just had to get it in. Just a good old boot bang in. Under nine's boot bang. We absolutely love that sometimes. But yeah, I was, I was pretty up and about. Crowd was getting me going and feeling really good. Like, I wasn't really copping too much shit from the opposition, which was great. Um, got the ball again here. Wanted to show a little bit of composure, but... There wasn't really that many options kind of free, so it just kind of went long and, and was just hoping for a contest at the least. And um, yeah, we did pretty well there, which is great. At the moment, as you can see, there's bodies flying everywhere. The scores are tight. They just banged on another one. So it's literally two goals in this game right now. Like it is kind of on and it's panic stations for both teams. Like we're trying to stay composed, but like people are panicking just a little bit. And I got the ball here, and that's just me saying about like the elite skills before. Like, you can see that I just backed myself in. Like, even if you just rewind that and just have a look at that again, like I didn't even second guess turning. And that's like what I'm trying to say to you guys. Like, if you're a sick goal kicker, like obviously don't be hungry, but don't second guess yourself. Like, if you're within you know your range, just go goals, man, and just practice it and become so elite at that one thing that people and recruiters are like we can't not draft this kid because he's just doing everything right so just keep doing those little things so at this point of the game it's kind of like contest after contest a couple scruffled i got the ball here i thought i was going to tear a string oh my god that guy's i don't know if you saw that push there but he pushed me i was going to take him on and then he pushed me and all oh, my string like i just felt him like go i've done it before a couple times but i just felt him really seize up and i got a hella nervous there um, got around that guy and then I kicked it in the middle. Didn't see that guy there, but it kind of opened up and we actually kicked a goal from this, I think. Yeah, it was really good play by the boys. Noodles, best and fairest in the comp last year. Got it through the middle and we went long and kicked a snag a -roo from that. So absolutely unbelievable. I don't know, I don't know what, what these sayings are today. Snag a -roo, but I'll say I'll take that. I will take that. Um yeah, I'm pushing the last half. Tommy Mack called for me that ball inside there. He baked me. He's like, kick it inside. But I was like, no, nah, I just want to slow it down. Like, you know, things were getting a little bit too hyped. We needed to just slow the game down, take a nice deep breath and just get it going. But this is play of the day, guys. So I just want you to enjoy this one. Actually, not play of the day. Probably second play of the day behind the tackle.
There it is, guys. 29 disposals, 10 marks, 110 super coach points, and three tackles. Unreal day at the office. <laughs> Ladies and gents, today we are interviewing Kamadiki. Mate, best left footer, one of the best left footers I've ever seen, I must say. Mate, tell us about your day today. Uh, day today was uh, pretty good, good win by the boys. Uh, a little bit flat, a bit of a poor sleep last night, but we got through. My guy behind the camera um, hyped me up at half time and I came out, <laughs> came out flying at the half time, so thank you. And I heard that you're not only a star player, but you're also a gun coach. Tell us about the coaching at Bowie Sec. Oh yeah, the boys are flying right now. Uh, three wins on the trot. Uh, finals coming up in t two weeks, so hopefully we take it, go to the next stage, and uh, you know, looking forward to a state championship possibly. Can we get a go, Dingoes? Go, Dingoes! Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy McGregor, best on today, mate. Tell us about that. Don't argue. That was something else. Uh, just put the arm out. It's probably all the Lambos fit. <laughs> get on the program, guys. It works. He's on the program, mate. Tell us how that's going for you. Uh, it's good, yeah. It just gives me some good structure. Um, I was just going to the gym and sort of winging it every week and sort of doing the motions, but now sort of sticking to something that's probably regenerated my life for the gym, so yeah, it's working. You are looking very good, mate, and very <laughs> fit, mate. What what are on those hands of yours? You're not dropping them off. Can you give me some of that gripper? Or what's on them? Tell the fans. Uh, silicon, I think. Oh, silicon. <laughs> <laughs> is that legal? Like yeah, he's yeah. he agent like fine wine. Uh, 30th last week, apparently the dance floor got flooded, mate, but I heard that uh, resurface the floorboards because you were tearing uh, it up so much. Yeah, I did some friction, yeah. yeah I did some damage. <laughs> got my money's worth. <laughs> what I'd say, we're absolute superstar. And can we get a go, Dingoes? Go, Dingoes. Yeah, let's go. I do a Thank you. I just really look, look, really look professional there. <laughs> Got the my eye going. No, no, you know you're filming it. Let's go. Just delete it. <laughs> no reset. Yeah, reset.